everyone, it's Louise here. I hope you're well. Um, thanks for tuning in today. I just wanted to do a quick video tutorial to show you how you can create a tab for your website similar to this one. Um, this is just basically an image that you can put on your website that would direct you to a blog, but you could do it to link to anything you want really. I just did this for an example. Okay, so I'm just going to clear this artboard so we can start from fresh. So this is a 400 pixel square artboard here. When you first open the artboard in Design Studio you'll notice that it has a white background but what we're going to do is we're going to design this image and when we download it as a PNG we don't want it to have a white background, we want it to have no background so we need to go into product here where it has colour and then just click this cross here which will mean that the background is going to be transparent. Okay, then we're going to go to the album and select the background image. Just wait for a sec while they load. I'm going to pick this wooden background image here. Um, so it's actually coming at the right size, but if you wanted to change the size, you would just grab the corner and drag it like that. So we want it at 300 pixels wide and 200 pixels tall, so that's right. I'm just going to make sure it goes to the center of the artboard by clicking to align it to the center and align it vertically to the center as well. Okay, so that's going to make the background of our image. Uh, now I'm going to add in a couple of design elements. So I know in the Facebook Ads Elements folder that there are, this is the shape that we're going to use, but there's lots of different shapes and elements and borders that you could put onto your design. So click to add this one, and then just drag it to make it the right size that you need. So I'm just doing this quickly. You should normally zoom in and just check that it's not hanging over the edges or anything. But that will do for this example. Uh, then I'm going to go to the colour pickers and just select a blue. Obviously you'll be using your own colour palette. I'm just using whatever colour today just to show you. Oh, that's kind of annoying. You can zoom in just to check that the edges are all right, but yeah, that'll do. Okay, so now I'm going to draw a border around the edge by going to the Shapes tool, selecting the rectangle, and then just drawing over the top like that until you get a black box. Okay, but we don't want a black box, so tick the cross in the main colour palette, which will get rid of the background colour. And then you've got just the border left. So I'm going to drag that up to a thickness of three and then just go in and change the colour. Again, just guessing. That'll do nicely. I'm then going to duplicate that rectangle and just we're going to make a thinner hairline border to sit inside that one. So that can go down to a thickness of one and then again just centre it in the middle. These two always come in handy just for making sure everything's centered into the middle of the artboard. Okay, uh, I'm now going to go to the layers panel, which is this one top left, and I'm going to bring this blue triangle to the top so that it sits above that frame there like that. Okay, now I am going to add in the word blog, which I have got saved in this album. I've got a gold version, so I'm going to use that. So that's an album gold elements. There it is. Oops. Right, so you see what I did there? When I tried to move that text, I haven't got this box checked, so that means that it's not keeping it in proportion. So I'm just going to click to undo that. Make sure that this box is checked here. Always have that box checked when you're changing the size of text. And there you can just drag the corner and it keeps it nicely in proportion. Okay, so I'm going to bring that into the center there so it's equal at the edge of that arrow. And then just make it a little bit bigger. Okay. Uh, and now I'll just type the words, read the. So the text always comes in with a curve on, so you just drag that slider down to take the curve off. I'm going to place that just equal with the edge of the O there in blog. And I'm going to change that font to this one. Oh, and then it just needs two hanging, so I should have changed the font first. <laughs> there we 
effect. So I'm going to copy this blue colour. Oh, get a different blue colour, that one's called. I didn't like that colour. So I'm going to use this colour um, and then I'm going to go to the words read that, copy that in there, but I'm going to make it a much lighter tint to stand out against the background, maybe even lighter than that. So it's practically white. Okay. Great. And now I'm just going to add an arrow in. So go to the arrows folder in art and then pick the arrow that you want. I'm whizzing, oh, I'm whizzing through this really quickly because I've already done it. Obviously you can take a little bit more time and choose the design elements that you want to use. So I'm going to copy that colour from earlier and make the arrow the same. Just for a bit of consistency. Cool. Uh, now what I'm going to do is add in the gold splodges that were sitting in the corner, the bottom right hand corner. So that was in album gold elements again. Just drag that to make it smaller. Rotate it by grabbing onto that green circle and dragging it around a bit. I'm just going to sit that down there in the corner. It's got like paint splodges. Um, and I'm going to move that behind the border actually as well so that that layer goes to the bottom. Great. Okay. So now I'm going to type a bit more text in. So just bear with me while I type this in quickly making this up color palettes um, that cycling what else do I have vintage finds I think tutorials and where to find whatever you're gonna have in your blog just you can type that up there um, I'm gonna right align that just so that it sits nice and flush in with that border there um, change the font to match the the word read there that I used before and reduce the size and that's going to sit nice and neat in there okay and I'm also going to make it the same really light blue color that I used for the arrow and the word read there to stand out great okay now I'm just going to add that little we had the little um, circle shape down there that said award-winning blog. So I'm going to add that in. So that is in the art folder and it's under call to action shapes. Uh, I think it was that one I used. So we just drag that, chain, make it a bit smaller there. I think I'm actually going to make this text a little bit smaller. So it doesn't look too cluttered and too much going on. Put that down to there. And then I was going to copy that red colour, ready pinky colour. So just copying the hex code there out of that box. And I am copying it into the box for this shape here. Okay. And now I'm just going to type up the words award winning blog. Everyone wants to have an award winning blog, don't they? That would be nice. You can put whatever you want in there. I'm just, like I said, making things up to show you an example. Okay, so I'm going to go with that font. Um, it's coming with huge line spacing in it, so I'm just going to reduce that here with this slider. Tighten it right up. Okay, um, again I'm going to use that really light blue colour. That's not the right colour. <laughs> Copy it from there. Okay, make it a bit smaller so it sits nicely within that circle and then just put a slight slant on it there. So it looks like it's been stamped on there because it's like a prize, the award. Okay, cool. Right, that's pretty much it. Um, so like I explained earlier on, because we've taken this background off, you can now save your image and then download it as a PNG and 
that is going to be a 350 pixel by 300 pixel image that you can just upload to your website. Okay, thank you so much for watching today. For more information on becoming a member of Design Studio, please visit designstudio.projectthankyou.com um, and come on over and join my Facebook group. Just do a search on Facebook for Project Thank You Design Studio Network um, and come along and join in the fun. Okay then, thanks very much for watching. Take care, bye.